Y'all, welcome to night number five, project number five from the Craftoween mini mystery box. Y'all, let me just tell you, this has been so much fun. Here's the thing, with the Craftoween mini mystery box, I wanted to give you all at least five projects inside the box. Let's be real. You can do much more than that with the materials and the files that we gave you the files being all exclusive to the box and even some of the items from the box were completely exclusive to those who were able to get one of those boxes i mean that was crazy all on its own they all sold out in like 40 minutes it was insane y'all are all about craftoween and i love it but also be sure to be checking back because there might be something else coming in the somewhat near future that's all i'm going to say all i'm going to say y'all all right so Basically, this is a pre-recorded video. We're setting it up as a live stream. We want the same vibe, the feel, the energy, the magic, the excitement of a 15 minute live cricket challenge. However, I am out of town this week on a business trip. And so we're gonna basically do this very little if no editing at all. And we're gonna do the 15 minute challenge and we'll see together if we can make this happen, this full project happen from beginning to the very end in 15 minutes or less y'all send me all the good vibes all the good energy keep your fingers crossed we'll see what happens but basically with the with the box there should be a little insert that comes to the box that has a url a website to go to to download the files once you put in that website this is the page that you'll land on now you want to click right here where it says click here to get the mr crafty pants craft wayne mini mystery box files and once you do that, you'll be taken to this page, which is just different categories for the different files. I wanted to make sure that it was as, as organized as possible. However, this one category is for multi-purpose files. You can use it for a couple of the different projects. And so that's no exception tonight. I want to actually take one of these files, one of the multi-purpose files and put it on the t-shirt with my own patterned HTV, y'all. I created this pattern myself literally by hand and we're going to take that and put it on to a well i just knocked things over in the process but we're going to put it on to this black t-shirt now here's the thing you can do this on white or on a white shirt a black shirt really any type of shirt except for you want to make sure to stay away from from a color shirt that is going to basically clash with the the colors inside of this design which let me grab real quick right over here yeah, I, I knocked it off in the floor. Give me one second, y'all. <laughs> Leave it to me to knock everything off in the floor. Here is that pattern HTV right here. It is called Casket Case because it's a play on Basket Case. And y'all, I'm just such a huge dork. I, I'm, I, I am such a huge dork. But we're going to cut the pattern out of this. So really anything that doesn't clash with purple, you should be good. Um, however, this is a little bit different than what you would normally do with HTV, like the process of this. So be sure to stay tuned because I'll go over all those details. But um, before we get started, let me go ahead and put 15 minutes on the clock. We'll see, um, we'll see if we can make this happen. Beginning to end in 15 minutes or less. All right, so on your mark, get set, and let's get crafty. All right, so I'm thinking I want to use this file right here, this basic witch file. I love this so freaking much. I'm between that and it's just a bunch of hocus pocus. I'm, I'm, uh, let's go with basic witch. Let's do this one. All right. So let's go ahead and come up here to the top, right? Click on this little downward pointing arrow for the download. And then let's hop over here to Cricut design space. Uh, all right. So I still had the project left up from the last project. Well, we deleted that out. Let's go ahead and come over here now. Click on upload, click on upload image. And then let me find that file real quick that we just downloaded and then drag it over here and onto the screen and then click on upload. All right, there we go. It is now under the recently uploaded images. Let's click on that and then click on add to canvas. There we go. Now, all we really need to do is resize this to fit onto our shirt. So let me go ahead and grab our shirt real quick. We'll just get a really quick measurement on how big we want this to be. All right, and for that measurement, let's see. Come on, come on, come on. All right, um, I'm thinking like a max of like, 
I don't know, like nine inches wide? Yeah, like nine inches wide. Should be completely fine for this. Let's go ahead and come over here. Now, be careful because Cricut Design Space has been a little wonky for a while now. Not sure why, but they've been bringing in files completely unlocked. So if you change the height or the width, it would be completely disproportionate. So let's go ahead and lock the little padlock back. And for the width, let's put in here nine. Hit enter and there you go. Now I'm also wanting this to be just one solid color for this pattern HTV. You do you boo, whatever floats your boat and tickles your pickle. But to make it just one solid color, I'm just gonna come down here and click on weld like so. All right, from there, all we need to do is come up here and click on make it. Now here's the thing, for HTV, we would typically mirror it. That is not the case for this HTV. This HTV does not have a carrier sheet. So we're gonna cut it the right side up and we're not going to mirror it. So let's go ahead and come down here, click on continue. Let's go ahead and open up our maker as well. Let me get that out of the way. And I'm also gonna go ahead and put this out onto our mat. Now I am using a blue light grip cutting mat. You do not have to. I just honestly need to wash my green mats and so this is like stickier than what my normal green mats are. So let me go ahead and lay this out. There we go. And then let's come over here and I'm gonna do the everyday iron-on cut setting. And then let's go ahead and load this into the machine. All right, there we go. There's that. I'm gonna load and do its thing. And I'm also gonna go ahead and grab a mat. Now I'm going to be using a Cricut Easy Press mat. So let me go ahead and grab that because I am also going to be using a Cricut Easy Press, which we'll grab here in just a second. Let's go ahead and click on that little play button. Now for the, the Easy Press, I did go ahead and preheat it to 285 degrees. I set the timer to 15 seconds. 285 for 15 seconds. Super important to remember. Um, and then let's go ahead and also grab our shirt because I'm going to go ahead and lay this out real quick. Let's see. Oh, nope, backwards. Here we go. Let's lay this out. And we really want to just preheat the shirt. We want to get any moisture, any wrinkles, any of that out. Uh, but we also want to go ahead and kind of preheat and warm up the fibers to be receptive to the HTV that we're going to put on there. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. I'm knocking things over in the process, y'all. Oh my gosh, all right, so there's that. Just a few seconds will do the trick. I'm also gonna need some, uh, I'm also gonna need a Teflon sheet. And I am not sure where a Teflon sheet is. Let me find one super quick. Um, okay, y'all. Oh my gosh, wait, hold on. One second, let me see if I can find. Uh, Okay, forget that, scratch that. We're not using Teflon sheets. I'm just gonna use some parchment paper. You can use parchment paper or Teflon sheet, either or. I just typically always use a Teflon sheet, but this will also do the trick just as well. All right, so there is that. I think this is done cutting as well. Let's go ahead and unload that. Let's flip the mat over. And y'all, is this gonna be the first of the five projects that we will actually complete in 15 minutes or less? Maybe maybe the fifth time is the charm, we'll see. Let me um, grab my scissors real quick. Uh, let's see here. Okay, my easy press is yelling at me. Okay, let's go ahead and cut that along that line. And let's go ahead and cut this down a little bit as well. Save that stuff for the future. Love, love, love this pattern. Like I am so obsessed with it. Now, I'm also gonna grab the pin pin weeding tool. This did come also with the mini mystery box. And by the way, if you're seeing anything in any of these videos that you did not get in, in your box, let us know. Like reach out to 143 Vinyl. I say us, like I'm part of the 143 Vinyl team. I'm not, but I feel like they're family at this point. I just love them so much. Um, but let's go ahead and weed this out. Here we go. All 
getting all the details there. This stuff is so easy to weed overall. Let me know in the comments or in the live chat, have you ever used the pattern vinyl from 143? So freaking cool. Here we go, let me get all the little nooks and crannies, make sure everything's weeded properly. There is that. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's get the little nooks and crannies inside of here as well. Oh, come on. Okay, all I'm starting to get a little nervous. So I think we're gonna be good. I think we're gonna be good. I don't want to jinx ourselves. I do not want to jinx ourselves. Don't you love how I just group y'all in with me? Like, listen, if I'm going down, we're all going down. Like we're all going down together, okay? I say we, because we're all in this together. Okay, so. Is that. There we go. All right, everything's all, oh, nope, it's not. Let's get that little part out. All right. Oh, no, this little part needs to be weeded out as well. <laughs> Look at me trying to skip all that. All right, let's go ahead. All right, we're good. Now, with your mini mystery box, you should have a heat transfer mask. That's basically gonna act as a carrier sheet that will pick up your design off of this, and you can lay it down onto your shirt. That, um, I'm actually gonna be using though. Oh, sorry, sorry, this is sticking down here. I'm actually gonna be using the carrier sheet from another piece of HTV that I have already used. So, let me just trim this down real quick. You could use, oh no, oh no. I'm having that, that song from TikTok like, going through my head right now, the little, oh no, oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? All right, so let's see. Let me uh, cut this down real quick. Let's see here. Oops. Again, you can use the, the heat transfer mask. You can also use a sheet of, uh, a carrier sheet from old HTV that you've already used. Now we did, oh gosh, no, 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 no. Okay, no, okay. This came down and stuck down to the thing again. Like, how did I let that happen? How did I let that happen? Oh my gosh, okay. Here we go, let me pick that back off. There we go. All right, so the way that you would actually pick this up from this backing sheet, like this HTV, from the backing sheet. It's very similar, to, like the way I'm doing it with this is like the same way you would do it with the, the heat transfer mask that came with your mini mystery box. Is I'm just gonna lay it down. Let me grab a squeegee tool. Where's my squeegee? Here it is back here. All right, there it is. Let's do a couple like really sturdy, like good swipes on there. Okay. And then let's go ahead and lift this up. And we're gonna hope and pray this works, which it should work. All right. They do this thing. Oh, of course it's not gonna work now. I'm gonna, I swear, I'm always gonna jinx myself when I'm gonna say, oh, this is how you do it. They typically lift it up and then they pull it off and it, it just comes off. All right, I'm, I'm not gonna do it that way. Obviously, I'm just gonna flip this over and we're gonna remove this backing paper from this HTV. Let 
Maybe I didn't squeegee it down enough. Oh my gosh. There we go. There we go. And so basically with this, you can kind of like flip it over, peel off the backing. And if some of the HTV is wanting to come up with that backing, just push it back down. Just kind of go back in there and push it back down. Y'all, do you think I got this? Do I finally got this? Let me know. Let me know. Ah, come on, stick down the little eye. All right, come on. There we go. Okay, y'all. Oh my gosh, come on. I really just don't think I squeegeed it down hard enough. Like, like, what, I, like what I should have. So learn from my mistakes, y'all. Just learn from my mistakes. It's probably also not helping that I'm doing this on the Easy Press mask. The Easy Press mat, which has got a lot of give to it. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, y'all. It's like getting down to the wire. Oh my god. I got it. I, this has got to happen. This has got to happen. Place y'all's bets now on if it happens. Down in the live chat or in the comment section. There we go. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Ah! Okay. There we go. Oh, okay. There's that. All right. Let's go ahead now. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's position this onto the shirt. I want to place it about two finger widths below the collar. Like that. Let's grab, the, where did the parchment paper go? Where did the parchment paper go? Okay, um, oh, here it is. And then 15 seconds. Oh my gosh, like literally, we're waiting, like, is it gonna be the easy press or the actual timer that wins? We have eight seconds, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, yes! Okay, oh, we forgot to peel off the thing. It's still, we gotta peel this off. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, do we got this? Do we got it? Yes! Yes, we freaking did it! We did it! Okay, so, aren't you glad that I, I grouped this all in together on this? We all win. We all freaking win, and y'all, Look how freaking gorgeous this is. So good. So, oh, so good. If I do say so myself, like, I freaking love it. I love that you can see the little caskets, the little, the little coffins all in there. Oh, so, so. It gets, I'm, no, <laughs> I can't. It gets me every freaking time. But how freaking cool is this? Like seriously, like seriously, like, come on. Hold on, we're, we're putting it on y'all. We are making it happen. Ah, basic witch y'all, basic witch. Y'all, y'all, listen, that was five projects. You got plenty of uh, files and materials to do plenty more than that. Please tag me, I wanna see them. Tag me on social media, like go to, Instagram, follow me at Mr. Dot Crafty Pants. All one word, just put a period between the Mr. and the Crafty Pants. And um, yeah, it's gonna be freaking awesome. It's gonna be so good. I wanna see all of your stuff. I wanna share it. If you are on Facebook, be sure that you're part of the Cricut Crafting Community Facebook group. All that will be listed and linked 
down below. Y'all, thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much for participating in the Mr. Crafty Pants craft a win Mini Mystery Box 2022. I love y'all to the freaking moon and back. And until next time, stay crafty, y'all.